Okay, a few months ago I bought a uh, ALS 500 that had very anemic output. So I pulled these uh, 2879s out, they're Toshiba Red Dots, and one of them was bad. I stuck in some new DEI 2879s, and that changed the output from very anemic to just anemic. I ended up getting rid of that ALS 500 and getting an SGC Power Cube. So these sat in the drawer for a few months. I decided I was going to go ahead and try to get rid of them uh, now. So we're going to check them. This is number one here. We will go from... We'll go across the two emitters. That is shorted like it should be. Now we will go collector, emitter, open, reverse, collector, emitter, 0.547, base emitter, we're open, reverse, base emitter, get on it here, 0.577. So that transistor appears to be good. Transistor number two, first across the two emitters, we are short like we should be. Collector emitter. Open like we should be. Reverse. Collector emitter. 0.541. Base emitter. We're open like we should be. Reverse. Base emitter. We're 5.572. Transistor number three. Emitter to emitter, short like it should be, collector emitter, 0.535, reverse, open like it should be, base to emitter, open like it should be, reverse, 0.566. So there's all three transistors, they appear to be good now out of the circuit. Of course, there's no guarantees, but I've done everything I can to show you they work as of now. Three used Toshiba 2879 red dots.